Good morning. Today is Tuesday, January 26th, 2021. Famous line of our rabbis, Ezehu Asher, who is a wealthy person, Hasameach Bechelka, one who is happy with his portion, her portion. Now, the simple meaning of that line is to be satisfied with what you have because accumulating physical objects and material wealth can cause us to lose sight of what's really important in life. Abraham Lincoln once wrote, nearly all men can withstand adversity. If you want to test a man's character, give him wealth. And that's very true. And there's a lot of wisdom to that. But there's a deeper level. And I want to confess that I am guilty of this deeper level that I'm going to mention to you. When we want something, some object, we think to ourselves, if I just get this object, I'll be happy. And I'll confess, I I sometimes fall into that trap and I get a little focused on a certain object, especially if it takes a long time to get it. It, If I just had that, that one thing, then everything will be fine. Everything will be, I'll be perfectly happy. And often we are shocked. I am shocked (laughs) when after we get it, we're still not so happy. So how can that possibly be? And the answer is very, very simple, but it's profound. Things will never, ever make you happy. Things can be a reason to be happy, but only if we focus on feeling happy because happiness is an emotion. It only comes from thinking. It never comes from an object. And this is one of the purposes of a bracha, a blessing we say before any pleasure that we enjoy in life. For example, before we eat a food, we make a bracha. So, yes, of course, that is to recognize that everything that we have comes from God and we thank God for what we're receiving, but it also allows us to focus on being happy, on enjoying the pleasure that we are about to experience. And that is how we will be happy as a result of experiencing that pleasure. The pleasure itself cannot do it because no matter how beautiful it is or no matter how delicious it is, if we don't focus on the pleasure that it gives us, it will give us no pleasure, no happiness. Rabbi Avram Pam proves this from this week's Parsha. In this week's Torah portion, We learn the Jewish people are starting out on their travels through the desert and they need food. It's a lot of people. There's a desert. They need food. God provides man, the manna that they collected every day and a double portion on Friday for Shabbos. Man is the way that God chooses to feed the Jewish people for the entire 40 years in the desert. Our sages tell us that this man, this manna, was the food of angels. It was a perfect food. It was perfectly nutritious, perfectly delicious. Our rabbis tell us it tasted like whatever you wanted it to taste like. And obviously, no one desires bad food. (laughs) Everybody desires delicious food, good food, which means it tasted like the best food possible. And yet we see in the Parsha 
that after just a short time, people started to complain. People became, in a very short amount of time, disgusted by the man. Says Rabbi Palm, if you don't like man, you will never like anything because it was, by definition, perfect. Man is proof that happiness has nothing to do with having something, no matter how perfect it is. Happiness is exclusively dependent on your outlook, on your attitude. People can have everything in the world and be miserable. People can experience, on the other hand, the worst deprivation and yet maintain their sense of happiness. Rabbi Palm said, everyone looks for the city of happiness, but they fail to realize that the city of happiness is in the state of of mind. But that's what it means. Ezehu Ashir, who is a wealthy person? Hasomech Bechelko. Very often when we read that phrase, we, we focus on the word Bechelko, who is happy with his or her portion. If you're if you just be satisfied with the portion that you have, you'll feel wealthy. But Rabbi Pam wants us to focus on Hasameach. That is, if you Go to the effort to experience the joy from what you have, then you're going to be happy. It doesn't matter how much it is or how little it is. Only if you actively pursue hasameach, feeling the happiness that comes from the object in front of you, only then will you be happy. Only then will your possessions, regardless of how many or how few, make you wealthy, with one exception. Ezehu asher hasameach bechelko, who is a wealthy person, one who actively takes joy from the possessions that they have, that only applies, says Rapam, to gashmias, to physical material objects and wealth. When it comes to ruchnios, when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to moral pursuits, we should never be sameach bechelko, rejoicing in the amount that we have. We should always feel there is more to do, there is more to accomplish, there is more to grow. Feeling satisfied with our spiritual accomplishment leads to arrogance. It does not lead to wealth. We can never stop pushing ourselves to grow in spiritual terms. Shabbos, for example, the Sabbath, is a day of rest, but it's only a day of physical rest Spiritually, Shabbos must be a day of challenge, a day of advancement. The purpose of the physical rest is to create the opportunity to free us, to create the opportunity for the spiritual advance. And for that reason, I believe, in our Parsha, the giving of the man, when God gives us the manna to eat, which teaches us how to be happy, is also the occasion for God to command us in resting on Shabbos, to rest on the Sabbath, to use the physical rest for spiritual advancement. My friends, I wish you a great day, a happy day, and I look forward to seeing all of you soon in person.